Hey everyone, it's Lamont Wheat at Lake August Gardens. Can we have a quick conversation about coleus? So I took some cuttings of coleus from my garden just before the frost that we had maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I shared it to some groups that I am in on Facebook. And some of the feedback was, oh, it's too late in the season. They're not gonna um, live because uh, they require cuttings uh, earlier in the season. Uh, they won't work. Well, guess what? I love coleus first and foremost. It is a plant that gives you instant color in shady areas. It, they pair very well with impatiens, with uh, hostas, uh, any shade, shady area you have in your garden. Um, caladiums is a good pairing as well. Coleus have very beautiful foliage. They do bloom, but most people put them in their gardens because of the beautiful foliage. And so I took some cuttings before the frost of one that I found that is very drought tolerant here in East Texas, um, very um, dense when they grow, beautiful, vibrant colors, um, easy to propagate uh, during the spring and summer. And so I took some cuttings, stuck them in water. They make great arrangements too if you want to put them on your table. So I brought them in and I just put them in a sunny window, no direct light. And guess what? The update I have for you guys is we have roots. Houston, we got roots. So this is the beautiful bronzy copper uh, lime coleus. It's amazing. I will post the link so that you guys know what variety this is. But if you're in a hot area um, and you really want a dependable uh, coleus that will grow, will thrive, will be dense, will give you beautiful color, makes great pairing, and you can propagate it in December and it will put out roots and you will be able to have instant coleus in your garden. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you that quick update. Thank you again for tuning in to us here at Lake August Gardens and we will see you in the next video.